Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this video, I'm throwing down the gauntlet or glove. This is not a challenge for weight loss or exercise, but more a challenge for me to build something new in a very limited amount of time. Here is more about it. This is one of my selling location. I know it looks quite empty, but the picture was taken right after I moved in the display cabinets in there. You might be wondering why I have a dance floor or why the cabinets are so far back. And the answer is the sun. Uh, I have three big windows and it's also an easterly exposure. So that means as soon as the sun rises all the way up until noonish, the sun shines through. And depending on the time of year, the sun can shine through the uh, front 60% of the booth. So that's why the cabinets are so far back. My products are sensitive to light, especially the ones made in cast resin. Uh, the sun basically bleaches the color and depending on how the product is displayed, one side can be bleached but not the other and that doesn't really look good at all. So that's why the cabinets are so far back. And now the question is, how do I get people to know what I sell so that they go inside the booth and make a purchase? And that's where I came up with two designs of a front display units. Uh, both of those units are going to have solid backs so that they block the sun from shining through and three open areas for see-through so that people uh, walking by can see what I have and those two units would be at the very front, each corner of the booth. Uh, for the height of the unit, I have decided to use myself as the, as the appropriate height because I'm, I think I am a average height person so anybody who is taller than me can look at the uh, top of the unit and see what I have. Anybody who is about my height can look at either and anybody who is shorter can always have a look at the bottom and see what I have. Uh, there is no point in building anything in the very bottom because nobody's gonna do a squat to look at what I have in there. The other interesting thing is the location of the display units is based on the so-called golden ratio. And if you're not familiar, I have drawn a little diagram right here to kind of explain what that is. Uh, I explain it simply by taking a line and dividing it so that the ratio of the total line to the long side is equal to the long side to the short side. After doing the math, you come up with a number of 1.618 and like pi, that division keeps on going forever without any end or pattern to it. Uh, so the units are done using this. And here is the two methods that I use. For the left-hand unit, I have basically taken the height of the, of the entire unit and divided that into the golden ratio. So that would be the leg section and that would be the top two display cases. And then I further divided the top two display cases into that golden ratio. So that's how I came up with those proportions. The uh, other unit is done in a way that each consecutive uh, rectangular space is in that golden ratio. So we have the top, the middle one is 1.618 of the one on top, and then at the bottom is 1.618 of the one in the middle. I was going to use myself as the human figure to display how the proportions look, but then again I'm wearing my heels and my head is a little bit too puffy, uh, so that may give a false advertising. <laughs> and by heels, I mean my safety boots. Uh, I'm going to use the CAD software's human figure and line it up with the line that I have uh, drawn at the bottom and basically we can see how that relates to a human. Uh, the design done the first way where I take uh, two, square, uh, two rectangles and divide it each separately. Uh, the, these are the proportions, so from the middle of the thigh bone to the chest and from the chest to the head. And when we look at the other one, let me just flip them, we can see that the other one is a bit more of a human form. So we have the bottom being at the uh, hip bones, the middle one being towards the shoulders, and of course the top of the head. The challenge now is building those units. Uh, number one, the thing that I need to decide is which design to use. Uh, this is a case of building one unit of, uh, I mean, building two units of one design as opposed to one unit of each design. I just need the symmetry there. 
So it's time to decide which one to look. I mean, I can flip a coin. You can also let me know in the comments which one you like. Uh, so that will be my uh, first thing to decide. The second one is securing the wood. Um, the units have a tapered leg design and at the bottom they're about nine centimeters uh, square. So that means I need a very thick piece of wood and most of the wood stores are out of it. Or if they have it, the price is so high that it's just going to be astronomical to make those. So I have to decide now, do I get that single piece of wood? Do I splurge? Do I buy f uh, individual thinner pieces, glue them up together to the right size? Or do I get thinner pieces of wood and glue them up in a way that they come up with that tapered pattern? Uh, once I do that, I need to get the wood in my shop and only then my build challenge begins. And I reckon I can build those probably in about 15 consecutive days. So that means taking some time off of work. Um, so that is the uh, challenge that I have. So do you think I can build those in the 15 days once I secure the wood? Let me know in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you get notified of my next video upload. Also, follow me on all social media channels. The links are in the description.